So a lot of people are giving Nicki Minaj neck on Facebook and maybe even Twitter. I don't follow Twitter. Twitter's for dumbasses. Uh, saying that she's some sort of horrible fucking person just because she supports Mitt Romney. And, you know, I don't know, like Nicki Minaj, I think that, quite frankly, she scares the living hell out of me, especially with all that Illuminati crap. I mean, you know about that, right? So, like, um, even then, like, uh, I don't know what this whole problem is. Obama and Mitt Romney are practically the same fucking person. Both are political puppets. What you guys need to do when analyzing a politician is realize that there's a duality in them. Especially in the age of capitalism where... You see, back in the Roman times, there was no division between private and public. So everything was sort of like reputation based. So you have to keep the same character as a politician. Nowadays, you got to look at a politician as two people. How he is to the public, and how he is when the cameras are off. And so, basically, if you guys are hating on fucking Nicki Minaj because she's all of a sudden a Mitt Romney supporter, and you think that Obama is the solution, what you got to realize is... It's going to be the same shit either way. It doesn't matter what they say. I mean, we all know that a lot of people, especially more conservatives, fake conservatives, support Mitt Romney because he's apparently more free market, more um, fiscal conservative. But that's not really, that's not really anything. You see, politicians like to say shit to get you on their side. And then they'll, like, switch sides. It's all rhetoric. It's all manipulation. They can just say whatever they want, trying to give a point, but it's just manipulating you. And if you're, like, attacking Nicki Minaj, guess what? You're being manipulated by Barack Obama. Check his YouTube page out. Every, like, second video Barack Obama puts up is him dissing Mitt Romney, critiquing it going really desperate and saying deep, profound, idiotic shit to get you guys on his dick. And you guys are falling for it. You were doing the same thing in back when McCain was feuding with Obama. And hell, I was even in on it. I was convinced that this was a serious case. It's not. It's ridiculous. So, you know what? I think that people give, like, too much concern to what celebrities say, right? Like, it's not that big of a deal. Like, who cares what Nicki Minaj thinks? Nicki, Nicki Minaj is not a political analyst. She doesn't study this shit. Nicki, Nicki Minaj is a crappy rapper that acts like she's possessed by a homosexual guy. Some sort of schizophrenic gimmick i don't know what it is like her her like she has this thing called roman where in her songs like she gets possessed by a homosexual four-year-old or something i, I don't know it was like that's like the story she said it's kind of like sasha fierce or eminem he had like slim shady they all have like these like second personas i guess she's trying to bring that back or something it's stupid and now you guys are taking her seriously? You're seriously taking the girl that's giving a fake second persona of a homosexual four-year-old? That's the person that you're taking seriously? Is this what the world has come to, man? If, the, if you're really going to take on Nicki Minaj for this, then quite frankly, like, you shouldn't be allowed to vote. You shouldn't be allowed to vote. In fact, I think this world is full of too many stupid people. You should kill yourself, like... Damn, I, and I'm usually very nice in my YouTube videos. I guess it's maybe because, like, you know, I got, like, my mom here, so I got to act more badass and shit. But same point. I got to be blunt. I got to say real talk and shit. You people are too concerned with celebrities. And I thought that Twitter and social networking would make these celebrities seem more human. And by humanizing them, you treat them less like God. But apparently, all that did is turn everybody 
into a celebrity, turn everybody into somebody that has like a social voice. And it's ridiculous. Like maybe you guys should like instead of focusing on her, you should guys should focus on improving your own life, getting educated on what's actually happening in the political world so that you wouldn't have to be so passionate about your views. If you're so passionate about your views, guess what? The more passion probably means that you know less. Ignorance creates a lot of passion. So, um, just putting that out there, guys. Uh, I'm almost at 100 subs, so thanks a lot, guys, and peace.